dried it quickly with my uh, with my blower, with my hair dryer. Now I'm not going to touch the background for now. I'm just going to show you um, what we're going to do to those um, those sand dollars. So the sand dollars are uh, these ones. I'll show you this ones. You see, this one is a light a light brown. Oops, I don't want to make them fall. They're going to break. And this is a darker brown. So we're going to try to create that. So I'm going to clean my palette a little bit. And, um, and I'm going to prepare that color, the color that I like now. It's the transparent red oxide for the red one. So I'm just going to test it up here. And that kind of goes into that, but that's very dark, so it's got to be really watered down. So the trick here is one sand dollar at a time. So I'm going to wet this sand dollar, and there's a few things that we're going to do. And I want you to watch my brush, okay? So I'm going to pick up this color, and I'm going to put it all around the sand dollar like this. Got it? Clean my brush. Come back and kind of dry it. Got it? So you see it's already looking round. Now I'm going to put another coat on that. All around. Like that. Clean my brush. And then wiggle this brush all around and I do it again a little bit deeper and then I'm just gonna wiggle I'm not touching the edges just all around again and then I'm gonna put a little pinky purple in there too just here in the middle And then it'll stain the paper. And I'm already starting to like that. That's for one sand dollar. I'm not worried about the white all around. We're going to work on shadows afterwards. I'm going to take my smaller brush. And I'm going to, with clean water, wet this seashell right here. If it's very shiny, that means there's a lot of water. If it's in a matte color, which that's what I want, makes the paint move less. So I'm looking at the lines of this, and it's kind of going like this. And it's a bit darker here. I think it'll be time to start introducing my dark brown in there mixing it with that other color so that I can get this round of the shell. If you want, you can move to your smaller one. Then you can start creating those lines on the shell. So I'm going to wet it again. And I'm not getting the movement I want. And it kind of goes like this. So you kind of have to have it a bit on the rounder side on the sides. So it kind of goes like this. Like that. And when it's wet, it kind of seeps and it will create a nice movement in that shell. I always like putting a little pink in there. There's always a little pinky in there. See? Just makes it a little bit more interesting. So you see those lines. Can you see my brush going like this? Well, that's pretty much what I'm doing 
with my colors. I'll go a little intense in that brown. That means less water. And I can make it just a little bit more intense in some areas, not everywhere. It'll pop later when we're gonna, and you leave it alone. Now this one is okay dry. Now I'm gonna do this one. Same principle. Wet it. I like it very wet. I'm just gonna make sure I have enough paint there. Just a little bit more here. You don't need very much. I'm gonna put it all around, even if it's wiggly. Clean my brush. And I'm gonna do the same thing I did with the other one. Pick up. All I'm doing is really staining the paper. I'm gonna add some more. Because the paper is still wet all around. Because I want it deeper all around. And I want it to come in soft. So I'm thinking it's round like this, so. And make sure to take all the water out of your brush. You could have easily used another brush like I had here to do that, but I usually use one brush and do everything with it. On another, another bit more. Now that is a little bit darker. It's starting to create a little bit of the movement that there is. And oops, remove the water. And I want it to move in. If it doesn't, you just give it a hand. I'll put a little bit of the pink in the middle of this. Make sure there's no water, a lot of water on your brush. And just heft it up a little bit more. That looks good. This one here could have been a little bit worked more. Man, I'll just add another layer. So I'm just putting paint like that. A little bit of that purple I made, I'm going to put it right away in the middle. And I'll put another layer of the oxide. Transparent oxide. That's very intense. I want to lift that as much as possible now. So, so when you lift, you're creating the bump. Add a little bit more purple in the middle. Let it seep. See how it's like just a little bump? So we're creating, this is darker, and then from dark to light. And I can wet this one and make it come in a little bit more, with just a little bit of water. And maybe add a little bit of uh, yellow here on this on this side of this uh, shell. It's not really white, white. You see how it does beautiful movement right there the colors seeping in each other. And we need to dry it again. And then we'll be doing some shadows and adding some details.